Hi guys, I have two new journals to, that I'm putting in my shop um, and I am participating for the next uh, four or three or four days in the Etsy Cyber Sale. Um, what is it? Black Friday Cyber Sale. Um, so you don't need to enter any code for any purchases over 30 euro. Um, you get a 20% discount. So um, that will include these new journals and um, yes, because they will be over 30 euro. Um, the tag packs are not, but if you were to buy two, then you would get the 20% discount. Okay, or, or a tag pack and something else, then you would probably arrive to the amount and then you'd get the discount. So I'll flip through these um, journals quickly. I absolutely love them. Um, they are this, they're not Christmas journals, but you could make them a Christmas journal if you wanted to. Um, they are this dark green, um, they're just vintage books, dark green um, fabric covers. They have um, beautiful antique lace and I put um, some linen on the spine and that's the back. I think that's a Stamperia um, washi tape. But I absolutely love the papers and the images I used in these. So um, really, really love all of this this combination. Very eclectic. Um, so you've got a glassine bag. Just some gorgeous public domain images. A journaling tag. Now these will be a little bit less expensive than my um, ones where I have all my hand sewn tags and things in them. A doily. Just gorgeous papers in there. Just super pretty, kind of nude for someone to make their own. So Nostalgia Graphic Land paper. This is um, antique um, calendar paper. Then just a little journaling card and my antique Snoopy paper. Um, beautiful old children's book image. So cute. Some recycled paper. Beautiful handwriting here. Very old and fragile and lovely. Uh, Tim Holtz flowers then the other side of the pages then a little journaling card and so we're seeing the other side of the pages that that's a pocket and then a journaling card and just some more and I love these flip outs as you saw if you looked at my Christmas um, um, Christmas journal and um, any some of my other ones I, I like to use those attached pictures and then you fold them out and you can do writing inside and that sort of thing. Some old uh, book page with a cat, super cute. Um, a tuck spot here with a very uh, pretty journaling card. Or like, you know, I say it's a journaling card, but you could put it somewhere and use it as a pocket, make it a flip out, whatever you like. This is some vintage ephemera garden paper. Gorgeous um, image from an antique painting. Paint, painting. Um, a lovely um, Artie Mays envelope. This is from my um, vintage book um, about the flora and fauna here in this area in Romagna, in Italy. Um, I can't remember where I got that paper kit from, but I absolutely love it. Um, this is a pocket with a journaling card, a uh, tag, I want to say. I think this was Mind Barity, not sure. Um, and, and then tag some craft paper, some vintage um, geography paper, recycled paper. Love that script there. This is a nice page because you've got some space to write on as well. This is vintage ephemera garden, I think. Then another folding out page. Gorgeous antique image. This is a bifold by Tsunami Rose. They're so pretty. Very old book pages. And then... Um, here is a pocket and it opens out as well so you can put images this is vintage ephemera garden don't remember who that is there's a tag and the other side of the geography paper craft paper some old book page this is a tuck spot with a journaling card and a tag truffles yummy Black truffles, Tartufo Nero. This is a beautiful old um, letter. I think I found it on the New York Public Library and I printed it on tea dyed paper. I don't usually do tea dyed paper, but I like to use it for the old letters because it has a nice feel and it makes them feel old. This was 1920. It looks like it was an invoice or something. So that you can journal on there. 
and I just clip that. Where did I clip that? Um, over here, like so. And then this is the third signature. Some pretty papers, journaling card, children's book, writing page, beautiful old image. Oh, this is um, Italian recipes, tuck spot here with some journaling page, lovely little flip out, some old map. And then this is a Tsunami Rose, no, not Artie Mays, sorry, excuse me. You can either use them individually, these tags, or use it as a journaling spot, but I've just clipped it there. And it's printed on um, ivory coppery, cop coppery, ivory, I'm very tired, Iv ivory copy paper. This is the centre of the signature pocket and just one of my printables there. Some straw paper. The other side of the recipes. Ooh, re ri um, cream rice. That sounds gross. Sorry. <laughs> um, a tag. Really lovely pages there. And this is one of my doily printables. It's folded over the page to use. And then there's a pocket with some tags and journaling card. And that can be decorated as well. Absolutely love that one. And then the next one I have is this one here. And um, these would be lovely presents um, for someone. So um, this is the front. Absolutely love that um, painting. Got one of my favorite antique laces that my mum gave me when I went to Australia and some beautiful antique French fabric, linen spine and just a little bit of Cavallini um, washi tape. And I think this one's three signatures again. Oh my God, and I love, just love all of this mishmash of patterns. So this is beautiful um, old William Morris. A lovely um, pocket here with some tags and journaling card. And this is um, Tim Holtz. Uh, this is just a bifold that you can use to journal on. Some Tim Holtz paper, beautiful antique paper. And lovely image. Oh, I wish I could remember where I got that from. Anyway, you ladies have probably seen it before. Just ask me if you want to know. Um, a lovely tuck spot here with a little journaling card. This would be a nice travel diary, I think. Gorgeous. One of my favourite old paintings. Some very old um, music paper, a tuck spot and a tag. This was from an ch Italian children's book. Just some beautiful quality, um, quite heavy quality um, plain paper. For drawing and that sort of thing. This is Vintage Ephemera Garden. This is a lovely pocket with a tag. Am I on screen? Yes. Am I filming? Yes. Okay. Because I had a few issues today. Um, and then the other side of the paper. Tag. Just one of Tim Holtz decoration there. On the music paper. Beautiful Vintage Ephemera Garden. Super old pages I put in these. Um, this is just a pocket here, or a tuck spot with a tag. Geography paper, lined paper with a little butterfly. That's a Tim Holtz butterfly. And then here we, oh, I love this page, love it. The colours are beautiful. Um, this is a journaling card, a tuck spot, and Tim Holtz paper. Oh, and I like this page too. Yes, I like it. And this is, oh, it's from Artie Mays, I think. No, it's not. Who's it from? Don't know. Help. I did it quite a while ago, so I can't remember. I printed it out quite a while ago. Anyway, super pretty, whatever it is. Um, lovely doily. I like these doilies that I found that I can fit into my gen. Now, this is really old, this paper. This paper's from the 1800s. Yeah, I think it was like 1889 or something like that. That book. Um, beautiful antique image. How are you going, Lulu? Okay. Ooh, that rice looks so gross. I mean, these, these recipes are like from the 60s or something, 70s. Okay. Oh, I was just looking at this old um, recipe page. It doesn't look very appetizing. Um, and then this is some gorgeous paper and a little tuck spot here with a journaling card. 
And then this, when you see this paper here, it's re it's recycled paper. It's lovely. It's not white. It's kind of a creamy sort of colour. And the, the grid is very, like a pale colour. Some gorgeous little paper there. Um, some old book pages. Another tuck spot with a little card in there. This is Vintage Ephemera Garden. Oh, this is from my book. I love that. What's that book called? Victorian Flowers or something like that. I'm pulling my whole thing off the... The table. I'm so tired. I'm leaning on the on the desk, pulling the, the the what do you call it tea towel off. So that's just love. I love that paper. And I had to buy two of those books. I've kept one intact and one I use in the journals. And some more old book page. God, oh, love flowers. Flowers are my favourite. Love flowers. For me, everything has to have flowers. Look at that. That's just the prettiest paper. Please do ask me if you want to know. I, I will. I won't be so lazy, and I'll I'll look it up for you. Snoopy paper. This pink paper comes from a Snoopy notebook from the seventies. I can. Oh, I think I showed it in an old video. I won't show you now. Um, gorgeous antique painting. Doily. Oh, here we go. This is one of my printable doilies, and I absolutely love that. I bought that in Australia when I was there in June with my sister. Absolutely love it. Um, gorgeous Tim. Oh, I used Tim Holtz papers in this one. Yes, this is a tuck spot with this gorgeous bunny, bunny journaling card. A detail from a beautiful antique painting. Very old book page. Again, I, I like to always include until I run out. Um, the typical flora and fauna from Emilia Romagna. These are Porcino, Porcini. Porcini, but well, it's a type of porcini. It doesn't look like the regular one. Um, beautiful um, old book page from my Bridges and Roads book that I found. A book. It's not a book. It's a notebook. Someone was taking notes. Um, this is from my old um, calendar that I got from the 60s. And then some pretty paper. And then I made I printed out a little mini version of one of my doilies. I thought that was cute. You could use that to decorate something in a little pocket. Some lovely paper there. And then postcard. This is Tim Holt's little little cardy thing and then it's a tuck spot. Some more of the Bridges and Roads book. The other side, mushrooms. Gal Galignaccio. Mm. I don't think I saw those before. And then lovely old page. Oh, it's a, a quotey sort of thing. I don't remember having that. And then that's one of the Tsunami Rosa um, tag trifoldy sort of things. So pretty. This is one of my favourites. So literally you could um, put that onto cardstock and um, make big tags out of it if you wanted to. Or it could be a secret journaling spot. And then that's the back. And then we have a pocket here with some cards in there, journaling cards. So it's like a tuck spot. And then it, you can open it out and there's a tuck spot here. Actually, that one's in that pocket there to show. That's in the back pocket. That's in the front pocket. So you can put plenty of things in there. And that's a very old um, Stamperia paper that I had. I don't know if you can still buy that one anymore. So that is that journal. So um, that's it for now. I will be back soon sometime with more. And I hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you for watching. And have a great weekend if I don't see you before. Bye.